Hello, it's Dave Christensen coming to you once again from Home and Garden 911.com. Here on a chilly November, mid November morning on the back porch. I got something a little interesting for you today, a little short video. Uh, I think it's interesting. I hope you do too. This is something I've never seen before. Maybe you have. These are not just regular pumpkins. My wife Joanne, she bought about, I don't know, half a car load of pumpkins this past Halloween and these three were different from all the rest. Most of the time pumpkins you see are bright orange and these are not. Although they are orange, they're not bright and they have all these little bumps and uh, different kind of a uh, coloration and uh, uh, texture to the, to the skin of the pumpkin. It's all these little white bumps. You see it? Uh, it's been cross-pollinated with a melon. Um, what we call a muskmelon or a cantaloupe, whatever you call it in your part of the country, uh, might be different. Uh, <clears throat> I did a little research when I saw these, and uh, I see that cross-pollination is a big problem, more so than I ever suspected. Uh, I saw some information about people planting these, which are part of the squash family, too close to their zucchini, and they get funny-looking zucchini and funny-looking pumpkins. And obviously, funny, these are funny looking pumpkins. They look like melons. I don't know what they might taste like. Probably not as good as a melon. But uh, I thought I'd bring you this little short video. We're gonna keep it short. Uh, so again, it's Dave Christensen from homeandgarden911.com. Come visit us on the website. We've got a lot of information. I'm gonna be putting more in the near future. If you have anything that you um, are interested in that you think I might have some background on, uh, let me know what that is and maybe I can weigh in on that and if I can I'll, I'll tell you that too uh, <clears throat> And if you think this is at all interesting or anything that you find on our website is interesting Go to the social media buttons and push one of them You can send it to Facebook or you can tweet it whatever you want to do and I'd appreciate it if you do So with that I'll sign off. Have a great day artists get back to work